Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today on the last full day of Expo at Ignite? Tired, yes. Woo! OK, so I want to welcome everyone today to accelerate your EMS deployment with Fast Track. We're going to be talking particularly about the EMS flavor of Fast Track. But it's so much more than just uh, you know, the name. We offer a, a lot of different resources. We offer a lot of different guidance. Um, some of my uh, friends here, Pablo and Yuram, will talk about different aspects of the program. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at exactly what makes Fast Track for EMS work and accelerate your deployments. So today we're going to begin with understanding Fast Track. How many people here have experience today with Fast Track, either for office or for EMS? Enterprise mobility plus security. OK, about half of you. So the most important question is what it offers to you, what you can do with, uh, with Fast Track. Can I see a, a show of hands for those of you who are customers? Great. And those of you who are partners? Great. So we'll have a little bit for both of you, and we'll talk a little bit about how the program works so well uh, for you. We'll talk a, a little bit about how you can get the most value out of it. Also, some of our recent updates that we've, talked, uh, that we've worked on, new resources, getting started guides. We're going to talk a little bit. Um, we're going to hold it for a little bit later, but we're going to have an interview with someone from Fast Track so you can get that sense of what it's like to offer uh, these uh, deployment services, initial deployment services to the customer and uh, to, to the uh, wide variety of different people who are implementing EMS. We're going to talk about onboarding, so how we built expertise into Fast Track. And that's really important here because really, you want to know what's available to you, but you want to know that it's our engineers and experts. That's what's behind Fast Track. And also, you want to grow uh, EMS with Fast Track. So it doesn't just stop after you've turned on Azure Active Directory or Cloud App Security or Intune or Azure Information Protection or Advanced Threat Analytics or any of the uh, uh, wide uh, variety of services around enterprise, mobility, plus security. But it actually helps you grow that within your organization as well. So we'll begin with understanding Fast Track for EMS. When we talk about Fast Track, when we decided to, to make Fast Track for EMS, it was really important for us to build on what had been done uh, before, but also to learn about what, what others had done in terms of deploying a subscription service. And that was with Office 365. So we thought about it a lot, and those of you who have come by the booth or had the opportunity to sit down with us can see that scenarios lead the way. So whether it's a partner or whether it's a customer, build your service offerings with scenarios for a customer, start your deployment with the scenarios and we'll talk about those in a few moments here. Also, accelerate your deployment. So this is really important for us. What we're looking at here is getting you going, getting you started much faster. And it's really, really important to think about when you used to buy, pick a piece of software off of the shelf. You know, you used to go into Best Buy or Micro Center or something like that. You know you have to insert the disks, install the software, get the software configured, get it up and going, get it up and running. But it's a little bit different with a subscription service. There are other challenges that, you could uh, that, that are important to bypass and to move forward and to accelerate through with your deployment. And lastly, really boosting engagement. So this is using more of enterprise mobility plus security so that you could get the most out of our services and everything that we have to offer. And most importantly, what does it mean to accelerate with Fast Track? So we want you to trust the experts. We develop the services. We want you to get that expertise from those who develop the services. We want you to know the best way to deploy it, the best way to configure it, the best policies to set up there. And we want you to save time by moving more quickly to these services so that you can grow the use of them. We also want you to save some money. Uh, so you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, partners that we engage with, and we have a strong partner practice with Fast Track, they say, oh, well, we're just kind of turning it on, clicking a couple boxes. 
We're synchronizing users. We're getting these things set up. But how do we grow it? How do we make it right for our business? If you're a healthcare company, if you're a financial company, how do we make EMS right for that business? And it's also important to protect the enterprise sooner. So you'll notice that since Worldwide Partner Conference and other events, we've been talking about how Enterprise Mobility Suite has become Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. And that's really important. I want to break those words down. Enterprise, enterprise grade. Mobility for the devices that you have in your pocket, the things you do every day, being productive, using information, sharing information. And then security. All of the solutions have that security DNA built in. Azure Active Directory has advanced features around reporting, risk assessment, and privileged identity management. Intune has conditional access. Azure Information Protection has classification, automatic and manual built in. And Cloud App Security helps you protect your cloud apps. And Advanced Threat Analytics helps you pr uh, protect your on-premise identities. And all of that is built into the services that make up EMS. And finally, we always talk about it in terms of identity, devices, apps, and data. And that's what we're trying to protect. That's what we're trying to enable. And that's what Fast Track gets you started down the road of accomplishing. So Fast Track is all of your deployment help. It's a guided experience, a curated experience through the EMS services that gives you the ability to have extra help, extra assistance, extra configuration guidance, and turn on EMS services. So this is kind of an overview of it. For Azure Active Directory, for Intune, for Cloud App Security, for Azure Information Protection, for Advanced Threat Analytics, it begins with thinking about how you're going to use it. And I mentioned before, let scenarios lead the way. And that's an important first step. You'll see here self-service health, proof of concept, trials here. You'll see the scenarios in the introduction to the services in EMS. You'll see how you can get started with onboarding, Microsoft Virtual Academy, videos, success plan, immersion, Microsoft mechanics. It's all there for you across all of our services. And then you'll see that we offer engineer-based remote guidance for success plans and deployment help. And we'll talk a little bit more about success plans, which have recently been upgraded. And you'll see that those are provided by the Fast Track Center, the Get Help team, but they are Microsoft engineers who are here to give you the guidance to get started with EMS. And in terms of driving value, it's really important here as you grow with EMS that you have the opportunity to look at what success means, get some end user guides, get some demos, and you know this maybe is the icing on the cake, but it's a great opportunity to see end to end what you can do with EMS. And it's included with Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. So before we go to the next slide, I want to see a show of hands. Hopefully, we've reached out to a lot of you. Um, who knew that Fast Track was included at no cost with Enterprise Mobility Suite? Oh, good. Well, we're just getting started then. So we look at it as like Envision, Onboard, Drive Value. We have a lot of help that we offer you, self-service resources. We offer you the success plans. Get started with them quickly. You can log in right now. Uh, look at onboarding with Microsoft Virtual Academy, remote guidance, help from engineers, demos, and videos. And then looking at that expanding out with the quick start guides, the how-tos, and personalized videos. And we just debuted a new version of fasttrack.microsoft.com slash EMS that's going to guide you through each of these steps, envision, onboard, and drive value. And you can see here uh, that you can do a trial. You can do a proof of concept. When you're onboarding, you can think about assessing what you need to accomplish, getting rid of any blockers with the remediate, and then enable EMS as well. And finally, what's really important is using it and enhancing EMS as a whole. So this is the whole map of Fast Track for EMS. And again, I want to re-emphasize, it's about all the deployment help you can get. So much. 
It's right there for you at fasttrack.microsoft.com. We want to offer you assistance with everything you want to accomplish with EMS. A, a question I often get asked, and, and we'll talk about it a little bit later at, a, at the top of the hour at 10 o'clock, is who is Fast Track? They're Microsoft trained engineers and managers who are here just for you to help you deploy Enterprise Mobility Suite. We work at your rhythm. We work at your pace. You give us inputs. You help define what we want to accomplish. And it's a map of what you want to do. So if you want to collaborate, if you want to have a couple meetings, if you need to convince people within your organization, you need more EMS. We all need more EMS. Then we sit down with you. We have those conversations. We help guide you along. And then it's also important to look at your service plans and, and usage as well. And so the Fast Track Manager puts it all together. They are strategic to what you want to accomplish. The engineer, they're getting their hands dirty. How many of you have heard Renault changing uh, the tires on the car on the main floor down in the showcase? I know I have. It haunts my nightmares. But the Fast Track Engineer is the one who's getting their hands dirty. They are trying to optimize the plan for your uh, environment. They're taking the success plan. They're figuring out how to put it all together. And they're here for you based on the capabilities that you want to implement. And we use the scenarios as that starting point. They're going to guide you through the deployment of EMS. And they're here to help you with that technical experience, that guidance, that Jiminy Cricket, that voice on your shoulder, to help you while you're working on your EMS projects. So I want to talk about a few updates as we get started with EMS, and then I'm going to uh, let uh, my friends Pablo and Yurim go into this a little bit more in depth. But I said lead with the scenarios. These are the solutions that most customers implement using the technology that makes up enterprise mobility plus security. We'll talk about what those are. We're also going to talk about what's new with the success plans, how we've optimized them to be more straightforward, but also more helpful to you as customers and partners. And finally, my recommendation that when you want to do a proof of concept, so who has a project going right now where you have to do a proof of concept for EMS? It's a frequent request. I want to make it even better. So start the trial of EMS, fill out a success plan, use that success plan to help move you into a better proof of concept. And we'll talk briefly about that as well. So I mentioned the scenarios and I mentioned the, the solutions that we do with Enterprise Mobility Suite. Enterprise Mobility Plus Security allows you to uh, both look at your mobility, protect your devices, manage your devices, and implement security across the board. So we focus on the solutions and scenarios you see here. These are the same ones when you go to fasttrack.microsoft.com slash EMS that you see there. We help you develop them out. First is manage mobile pro productivity. So we found that almost 80% of getting started with EMS is someone picking up their phone, trying to get access to their email. Seems really straightforward, but are they using Exchange ActiveSync? What device is it on? How can they protect the applications they're using every day to get access to their email? So we help with that. And you can see that scenario, and we'd love to help you implement it. And uh, the fast track engineers and managers are geared towards this as well. Then identity and access management. Um, IAM, as it's called. So self-service password reset, group management, getting access to your applications, and really focusing on empowering the user while maintaining that management, mobility, and security. And identity-driven security. So this is new as we've brought in the services that are part of the EMS with Cloud App Security, the newly launched Azure Information Protection, Advanced Threat Analytics. This is that element of taking identity, which is at the core of what you do, and leveraging that to maximize security and protection as well. And then also information protection. So it's really important to look at how you're going to uh, connect data, how you're going to connect information, how you're going to encrypt it, protect it, apply policies, docu uh, do document tracking, 
do revocation as well. So I want to take a quick moment and show you what the new success plans look like. So you'll see here, if you go to fasttrack.microsoft.com, I encourage you to do success plans for each of the services that you rely on. You'll see they're newly simplified with business case, service readiness, and adoption. So there's success plans for each of the EMS services. They walk you through what's important about it, how you're going to deploy it, how you're going to connect with uh, the services, and how you're going to bring them to the end user as well. It's a couple of steps, much like a wizard. It walks you through doing a request, looking at your service history, again, assess, remediate, enable, what you ultimately want to accomplish with EMS. And you have the whole team here. It's the best way to communicate with your partners, It's the best way to communicate with all the important stakeholders in your organization when deploying EMS. So I want to encourage everyone here to uh, fill out a success plan and really jump in and find out a little bit more about how you can implement the five services today that make up enterprise mobility plus security. And finally, before I pass it uh, along to Urim, I want to talk about, again, the better proof of concept. So again, trial plus success plan is a better experience for your proof of concept. We give you the technical expertise, the guidance on what you want to implement, the scenarios that you want to work on in your proof of concept. And we help you with installation, getting started, videos, immersion, everything you need to really have a great proof of concept. So try it now with the trial for EMS and add together the success plans. Here are the business case for it. And together, those make a stronger proof of concept. I'm going to skip the interview because we're going to have our guest later on in the, uh, in the, in the discussion. And I'm going to pass it over to my friend Yuram here, talk a little bit about how we built expertise into Fast Track. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yuram E. And I'm part of the uh, identity team, Azure AD, that rolls up to the EMS team. Um, prior to joining the Azure AD team, I did work about five years with 21 of Microsoft customers from small, medium to large retail healthcare, as well as as, as big as 300 uh, uh, company teams. So um, I do understand where the customer's pain points are around deployment, and I, I'm trying to bring those insights into my presentation and some of the why. So my, Adam talked about the what's of Fast Track and EMS. I'm going to talk a little bit about the why's, why you should use Fast Track, and give you a little bit more information on some of the behind the the service and benefits that you all have. The first thing I want to just mention, um, Adam talked about success plans. The success plan is really the first time Microsoft is bringing not only you, the customer, but everybody you work with at Microsoft. You can also bring partners. So it is a great tool in that it centrally brings this information in one place where everybody can have access. And what that means for you as customer, you don't have to repeat everything First, you, in sales, right, you have to tell or the Microsoft sales team what you have, why you bought something and what you want to do with it. Then the deployment comes in, and you all have to repeat everything again, right? So that is one of our best efforts to bring everybody together so you all don't have to repeat the same information, but it's consolidated, and there's roles and responsibilities from your teams that the team's joining until you get to production um, access. So that's one of the first reasons why it's a great place to start. So why fast track? Well, it's a, door, it's a door in, not only to Microsoft, but also to the product teams. So as a product team, our customers are more important than ever in the cloud world. And you need that connection directly to us um, for blockers, for feature requests. And so I want to show you a little bit um, how those things get played in with fast track. So as Adam mentioned, you know, first time Microsoft is including a baseline deployment service with our cloud services, Office 365 and now EMS. We had a lot of folks come in by the booth and ask, what is really, you understood some, something about Fast Track, you know you get some resource, but 
It's a full, fully baked program. So not only do you get the two resources, the fast track manager and the engineer, but you also get a host of processes, tools, and services baked into that program. And you don't have to use the, the full enchilada, but it is there for what you need and when you need it. So um, one of the things to, to think about is it's, it's also quick to get started. As soon as you activate your EMS uh, licenses, that activation gets into our fast track process and somebody will proactively reach out to you and say, where are you with your deployment plans? How can we help? And it's not, fast track is not either or. There's multiple ways that um, it can be a very integrated deployment model and, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. The other thing is, it's a baseline. So we know we have customers that are very large. They have very complex deployments to, to possibly custom deployments. So in those scenarios, we do have additional programs from the product team that can work with you. And there's some criteria, but, but as we learn your deployment, maybe fast track is not the, the right fit when you initially start or your scope is, is quite large, there's additional programs and resources available. The other thing is, um, you know, I know, who has Premier support in here as customers? Okay, wow, a lot of you. So I know those hours are very valuable and you might project them for one year, but starting with fast track and baseline deployments, you can take that part of that deployment budget that you had maybe allocated for the full EMS project to more of the deeper complex pieces where you need maybe somebody on site, but it's a different way to think about the budget that you, you allocated the full deployment because the baseline, again, is included with Fast Track. So that's why it's a good, really good place to start. The other escalation baked into um, Fast Track. I think one of the, the best benefit is that while you're working with Fast Track and you run into a deployment issue, guess what? We're not gonna send you off to go customer, oh, this is a problem you have to go figure out on your own, go call this number or go call support. Working with a fast track engineer is, almost, is, is tier one of the process. So if, if the fast track engineer can't solve that, guess what? He, he's gonna stitch up the process and put you in the queue to tier two. So we, we stitched up the premier support within the fast track. So you know if we escalate an issue for you, you're gonna work directly back into the Premier queue. So you can let your TAMs know the case number and they can help you manage it just as well, but that fast track engineer will also handhold you and watch you through that process. So that's a great benefit for those that didn't raise, raise your hands earlier. So The other thing is, as the product team, you know what we look at day to day? Not just code of new features, but the deployment blockers for our customers get to the top of our list. We do a weekly meeting on this, we identify, so that's a big thing for us. So know that as you escalate um, your issues and things that are very deployment related, fast track engineers will plug that into our process and it'll get prioritized and reviewed. The other great benefit is DCR. Who's familiar with the DCR? Design change request. Yeah, I see a gentleman back there. So, so in the past with on-premise technologies, that was post GA, right? Once we shipped the product, then you also had an opportunity if you didn't have the features you liked or needed or needed changes to them. Well, these processes are, you know, our, our cloud technologies are live, the products are, are real time. So those changes we get directly from our customers and we implement it. So and we have several examples. One of, there's a feature in our custom uh, branded logon page that we changed because of a customer request and it came through that process. So, so know that there's a lot of value in how you influence not only our product for how you want help, but also the, the actual service itself. And lastly, um, there's a whole connection program, not just, the, you, the front, fast track is the front door, but as an engineering team, you know, think of the old TAP programs or the UX programs. Well, actually, it's, it's both in tune and in identity, we actually have almost these, these cycles of working sessions with our customers on a quarterly basis. We have somebody in our group that focuses on uh, these, these connection programs and we actually, customers don't only come one time for this working session, but it's a journey. We have all the PMs, all of our leadership come in and, and we're asking you, how do you like this feature? How do you want this feature? 
what are some of your envisioning projects around identity? And I was lucky to have one of our, my customers, who's a big, big warehouse, who was already part of that program before I joined. And they have a huge identity vision um, because of the type of business they are. And there was a lot of requirements. And they participated in this. And we see the next time they come in, how much we progress. Some features are changed real time because you're talking directly to the PMs and the devs. So, so identity has that program. Pablo, I don't know if you want to mention a little bit about the program that Intune has. Thank you, Yurin. Hello, everybody. Good morning. My name is Pablo Chacon, and I'm a program manager in the customer experience team in the Intune engineering organization. As Yurin was mentioning, um, our engineering teams are getting closer and closer to our customers. And in the case of Intune, we have a program called the Customer Connection Program. Through that, you can have access to previews of our features. You can have access to participate on focus groups with our engineers, directly with the developers. Give them feedback. Give us feedback of what you want to see, how you want to interact with our services. And the most important thing, um, the size of the company doesn't matter. So if you are interested on uh, the customer connection program for Intium or the programs that we ha also have for the Active Act, uh, Azure Active Directory service, please let us know. We'll be here right after the session, and we can help you with that. Um, you can also download the presentation after the session. The information is also going to be there. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Pablo. Um, last thing is applications. We all live in a world of applications. And um, the Azure AD uh, App Gallery has, I believe, the last count, over 2,500 plus applications that are pre-integrated and, and work with Microsoft, so they're an easy setup. Well, the, if there are applications not in the app gallery or there's, if you're a company, you're building one that you want to integrate with us, this is also the door to bring that to our awareness and let us know so that we can go work with those third-party companies to make sure we make that integration of applications very easy for you as customers. And again, it's a journey. Fast Track is, is a start, and we know there's multiple players that come in. So our goal is that Fast Track is your entry, but as you move into production, and even in production, and Pablo's going to talk about how you drive adoption and so forth, but, but it's a journey. And we're here to really work with you and make sure we remove roadblocks or bring those features and, and, and services to program that, that meet your needs. One of the tools that I want to talk about is uh, tutorials. So we built deployment tutorials for EMS. They're in the Office 365 portal, and they're called deployment wizards. Now, they're not your genie in a bottle wizard. You're not going to get a three wish and a genie's going to set up. But it is for you. It's, a, it's an online self-service tool that's really great for you to use for, um, you know, if you just want to do a, a prereq, understand what the actual process is. So some of the readiness for your people or your admins or maybe the greater team to go in there and, and try the features. Or, you know, Azure AD itself, um, Fast Track helps you enable 11 features. And, a lot of customers don't know the amount of service that comes with identity. So that's another place for you to go and try and see what setting up those services are like. It's built into the Office 365 portal. And I'm going to move to a demo. But currently, they're, they're available for all the workloads in the EMS. So your Azure AD identity, the Intune, and the rights management, Azure information protection. So let me just show you briefly what that looks like. So if you log into your, again, your Office 365 portal, um, it's on the onboarding, but it's, it's under the deployment wizards. And I chose the identity one since I'm from that group. So in the startup page, it just kind of tells you what this is going to do. You can also go get information. And if you don't have a, a tenant and you need a trial, it gives you a, a link to go straight there. Wizards, you have access to these resources, getting started guides, immersion, videos, Microsoft Mechanics, it's all there to help you get going with EMS. So the first page kind of tells you about the workload and um, you know if you're an, an IT admin or developer kind of teeing up what that information and how it's applicable to you. And then the left side, your right side, <laughs> is the steps. So the, mount, the, the number of features you choose will increase that number of steps because it'll go through each of the features. 
It also tells you about the Azure AD additions. As you know, if you have Office 365, you've already deployed a, a version of Azure AD for Office 365, which is a, a basic free, or free version with some basic and premium features enabled. So I'm gonna go next. And you can always start over. If you chose features that you didn't want or you want the whole, you can always just go down the line. Again, it's not a genie who's gonna stick you to what you chose, but you can always go back to the start over and, and start from scratch. So I'm gonna, so these are, these, these are the features that you can configure with Azure AD. And the good news is Fast Track Engineer also has a view of this on their side and, and how our program is stitched up um, from how they work with you. So they can walk you through this as well but it's also something you can prep beforehand while working with them. Or if you just, you're in a time crunch before everyone engages and there are certain features you want to set up, this is the best place to go to. So let's set up the corporate branding page, the custom corporate branding page for your sign-in. Again, that's a feature, I don't know if you knew, but that's included with your Office 365. And let's do AD Connect Health. And I'm just gonna go through maybe SSPR. And another note is that um, the SSPR for the cloud users, for those um, Office 365 suite, is also included in your, in your SKU. And there's a reason why I'm, I'm telling you a little bit more about Office 365 and, and how you want to approach EMS projects, which I'm going to talk later on. So, so and then you just go next. So, Here's all the details you need to set up your, your corporate, um, corporate branding page. So you could see the first page here is the, the general Office 365 page. And here's one that um, after you customize it would, would look like. So this page test shows you um, the pre and, and after, but this is the, the actual steps that you want to go through. So it tells you which portal to log into, the steps to select the directory you want to brand, go through the configure page, choose your, the right files for logos, the back in, uh, background color sign in, you go next. Again, this is not doing it for you, but these are the steps you wanna, you wanna go through. So that's the custom branded logon page, and, and then the next feature that I chose, it'll bring up the, the wizard for that. So while she's going through it, she mentioned there are 11 features that are illuminated from the wizard. Uh, we won't look at all of them, but we will actually uh, take a look at how we built that expertise. What's important here is you see from your trial, from your proof of concept, from your success plan, from the getting started guides, from the wizard, from the videos, it's all the best help you need to deploy EMS from either side of the equation. So this one is for the Connect Health, and that first page, it gives you a little bit more. There's more information about Connect Health and what it is, so that first page page gives you that. The next page goes through, again, what we did to configure and um, the steps. So I, I say, you know, find time to go in and play with this. Um, there's, there's no try and error because you're not touching any systems with this, but it's a real great starting point and, and a quick start. So, so, so I'm going to move on to back to our slide here. How many people knew about the wizard for Azure AD and Intune before coming in today? One. Two, yeah. Sure. Question? Where do you, the question was, where do you get to that from? Currently, it's in the Office 365 portal. And it is in the old, old, old um, admin portal. But you can actually also go to the Enterprise Mobility Plus Security blog, and you'll see uh, a post about both the Intune wizard and the Azure Active Directory wizard. Yep. And yep, that gives you a quick link to it. Yeah, again, go to the blog for Enterprise Mobility Plus Security, microsoft.com slash EMS. At the bottom is a link to the blog, and you'll see uh, more information about both wizards for Intune and Azure Active Directory. You'll also see the link, the ak.ms link to those. Yeah, we'll make sure we put a right link into our PowerPoint so that you can go straight to it and get that. Uh, and the important thing is that um, the wizards are actually present in both the old and the modern portals. Mm -hmm. So you can have access to them from either of those two portals. Where is it we'll uh, give you the link, the precise link, as part of the deck. Yes. I don't want the link, I want to know where in the portal. Can you show it? 
Yeah. Well, you know, because I, I went there from the old portal, but once you get to the admin, there's a tool section, and then from there, there's a deployment wizard section like you see on the screen, and then I selected the Azure AD premium wizard right here. But it sounds like we need to go stitch up some information and making sure the current portals that are available and find that for you. I apologize, I, I don't have that info right at this point. Great question, Joey. So I'm gonna move on to my last slide. So, so how many of you have projects already planned for EMS? A lot of hands, okay. Is this, in a, along with other projects, or raise of hands, who is doing Office 365 first? Yeah, okay, okay. A lot of our customers are looking at this as a separate project, and, and li li rightly so, because we, you know, we, I know how customers plan their workloads and, and projects. Well, I've been joking, but you know, most of your other projects is gonna be yummier with EMS. I'm a big food person, so every analogy I'm gonna give you is around food, so. But let me tell you why. EMS shouldn't be thought of as a separate workload. It actually is a lot better when you tie it to other workloads that you're, or it's already on, in, in the pipeline. And especially for your, you Azure admins out there, um, it's almost like killing two birds with one stone. We know you have Active Directory probably on-prem. I know you're gonna establish the Office 65. Where you need to turn up the volume and security, or you want more management capability as an admin, not only for identity, getting your users through the door, but once they're in the door, tracking where they go, there's a lot of those 11 features that we talked about, those features are gonna give you more management control, more insights to how your user, users are accessing applications, where they're going, and, and around security. So we highly recommend when that team first gathers that you build in the scope for Azure AD, or if it's around devices, Intune, or for your groups like an HR or maybe legal team, where the data that they're using and how they're using it is key in how you lock it, how you keep an expiration or track it, that's all Azure Information Protection. So the full EMS suite is really to support those other workloads to make it much more secure, especially in, in our cyber, uh, cyber security world that we live today and the problems you're trying to solve um, and, and the things that security is pushing down on you and regulations. Really filter through those initiatives that you have as a company and look at the features in EMS and see where it can help your other projects meet those policy or compliance needs. That's really the way to do it, because at the end of the day, it will just give you more control of those workloads. Um, the other thing is that, um, again, the third, it's not only Microsoft technology, because the single sign-on capability with identity and also the security that we're building behind that, really look at also how you manage and deploy third parties and where EMS can, can help with that. And I showed you one of the wizards, but we even have playbooks that our team is building. And it's not necessarily just fast track, it's tied to the whole motion of, I know what our teams and identity is trying to do. Um, so I'm gonna go back and just show you one that was published today at this Tech Ready. It's a proof of concept playbook. And this is available online and again, the where for this is, again, we'll build it in and, and get it live on the deck, but there's a playbook for proof of concept for Azure AD for, for all, all the features and, and, and so forth. So just, again, we're trying to provide you a lot of self-help tools before you actually get the people engaged or, or starting off your project. So bringing expertise for, for your technologies that you own that you can bring back to your team. So with that, I'm gonna uh, finish up here, but. But again, our blog, from Fast Track to the content that we publish, they're all around there to help you with your deployment and make you the expertise, but also with Fast Track, giving you that, that human touch connection to actually engage with and help you drive through that process. And lastly, my, I'm gonna just end with a last slide. Again, this is EMS, so whether it's the identity, whether it's Intune, think of Think through the lenses of your other projects. Where can I bring in an EMS feature that will turn up the security where you can have as admins more control? And not even control, but also efficiencies. I mean, SSPR is saving a lot of time for your help desk and yourself for your users coming in. 
And there's also um, just an examples like our dynamic groups, you know, launching licensing through our uh, the, the groups licensing feature in Azure AD Print saves you a lot of time, no PowerShell. So there's just a lot of great features that's going to help things more efficient for you all. Okay? So we'll take questions at the end or, or as we go, um, but I'm going to hand it off to Pablo who's going to talk to you a little bit about more about usage after you deploy. Again, good morning everybody. So today I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about how to get the best value of our services. A lot of the time when our customers or partners or ourselves, we start deploying our services, we think a lot about the technical aspect of how to do it. And Fast Track is great at guiding you through the technical aspects of how to do it, right? But we also have to think about the non-technical aspects, how to build readiness to have a successful deployment plan, how to build readiness about the end users of, of your companies to make sure that they are ready to start using our services. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about how Fast Track can help you with this. When you purchase our services, obviously the first step is to buy our licenses. That is the first step. And included in, on the value of the licenses, as Adam and Yurim have, have been mentioning, you have access to the Fast Track service. The next logical step is to deploy the services. This is where you can start using Fast Track. Fast Track, the Fast Track manager and the Fast Track engineer will help you optimizing the deployment of your services. But the most important thing is not only to deploy our services, is to make sure that they are being used. This is uh, where you get the most value. Why? Because through our services, in particular through the EMS suite, you start securing your environments, both your mobile devices, your, your information, your mobile applications. This is when you start um, feeling those benefits. As an additional benefit to those, you can get operational costs, reduction in, on operational costs, because um, you're empowering your end users a lot through features like self-service password reset. They don't need to call, the, again, your help desk or an organization every time that they need to reset the passwords. So through features like those and many others that we offer through EMS, you start reducing your operational costs and you increase the, the, the satisfaction of your end users because they feel empowered. They can start doing things by themselves. But the important thing to get all these benefits is to use our services and to make sure that the, the end users, the, your, your employees or your customers are ready to uh, use our services and that they know how. So at the moment of thinking of how to make sure that usage, that our services um, are being used, there are a number of factors that, that we encourage you to start thinking about. First of all, before anything happens, we have what we call um, the requirements for adoption. These are making sure that you understand when do you need our services to start taking action. As in any other project, and this is um, a little bit of project management concepts, we want the project to have a beginning and an end. The last thing that you want as IT departments or as partners is that your projects run forever, right? So the first thing is to try to identify when is that date, when the, the service is gonna go live, because that is gonna mark the date when a number of other things need to be ready for. The intent is another requirement. Um, a lot of times, me included, I've, I've done it myself, we buy licenses for, for services. But do we know exactly what are the business scenarios um, that we are trying to resolve? Do we know how those services resolve our business scenarios? When you buy our licenses, try to think about those scenarios. What is that you are trying to resolve with our services? This is gonna be critical at the moment of, at, of creating the project for deploying and using our services because that is gonna define what are specific scenarios, what are specific features from our services you need in your environment. Um, the business reason goes along with the intent. And the success owner, that is perhaps one of the most important things and perhaps one of the things that we don't think a lot. Who in the company is ultimately responsible for the success of the implementation of our services? It could, be, it could be what person, it could be a group of people, but we need to understand who is that person that owns the success of the project. In a lot of cases, when we talk about security, we are talking about the CISO. 
the chief, the chief information security office, right? So identifying that person that is responsible for the success of a project is also important because next we move to a number of factors that we need to take care of at the moment of accelerating the deployment as, and usage of our services. First of all, the stakeholders. This is the people that you have to surround yourself to make sure that your deployment is successful. And the people that is going to help you um, sometimes even unblocking those political issues that you may find across the project. Again, if, it, if we're talking about a security project, like deploying EMS, we're talking about most likely the CISO. This is the person that is gonna help you driving that project in the case that you face issues. The scenarios are gonna define exactly how you are implementing and how you need to prepare your end users to be ready to use our services. Awareness is all about making sure that your users are ready to use our services. A lot of the time, in particular when we depend on, on end users taking actions, uh, for example, to enroll their devices to an MDM service, we need to make sure that they are ready. Thinking about how to make sure that they understand the change that, they, that is coming is really important. And you need to start communicating about the change even before the service gets, uh, goes live. And so making sure that users are ready for the change and that they understand change is critical. And the training of the end users. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this formula for adoption is because the fast track service can help you and guide you through all of this. Not only with education and best practices, but also with resources. How many of you, uh, when you are deploying a service, on where, when you are implementing a new product, how many of you have to write end user guides for the, the end users. It's time consuming, right? And a lot of the times, you don't have control of, um, or you have to invest a lot of time on updating those, those guides because products change. We in Microsoft, I take, are, we are taking on that effort and we are now making available those type of resources. So for example, we have created end user guides that you can download from the Fast Track website fasttrack.microsoft.com, you can put your, the logo of your company because we want to make sure that the users feel that it's your company. And you can even use email templates that we have prepared and use those email templates to send to your end users. So you don't have to take care about, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you don't have to take care about writing those guides. You don't have to take care about keeping the, them updated. We take care of that and the Fast Track team shows you how to find the resources if you are working with Fast Track, and they can tell you when is best to be used. So that is another benefit of Fast Track. That is how we accelerate your deployment and usage of our services. And actually, it's great that we got a, a round of applause for having <laughs> those end user guides because we're working on a few more. So we're just getting started. So how do you start your journey uh, to move your services to the cloud and to start implementing EMS? The first thing, and, and you um, saw Adam showing this, is completing your success plan. This is critical because the success plan not only is gonna make you um, um, make sure that you understand who the right people in your organization need to take part of your project uh, or the scenarios that you want to implement, but it's also the information that the fast track team is gonna use to understand how to help you better. All of that starts at fasttrack.microsoft.com and is in particular fasttrack.microsoft.com slash EMS. Make sure that as you complete the success plan, you define who is the success owner in your company, what is the target date, the type of business uh, scenarios that you want to deploy and the business reason. If if you work with an account team, your account team is gonna help you filling out the success plan. But if you don't work with, a, with an account team, you can do it yourself. It's, it's that simple, as simple as, as Adam has mentioned. That can be used both by customer and partners. Um, partners, in a lot of times, work with a fast track team to help their own customers. So don't think, as a partner, don't think that fast track is here to um, take your business away is to help you drive efficiencies on how you help your customers so that you don't have to take on too, many, uh, eff too much effort or too many uh, workloads. Um, you can be more efficient by using Fast Track to help you on this. 
And you can kind of think of fast track as supplementing it. Because once, uh, as a customer or as a partner, these services get started and they get turned on, there's so much more opportunity in what you can do with them. Customize it, improve the security, implement more of the features. That's why we have this help. Thank you, Yuri. And one final tip. When you start deploying our services, you don't have to think about deploying everything at once. Try to start simple. Uh, for that, we have created a number of um, quick start guides. In the case of Intune, for example, we have a quick start guide for deploying Intune mobile application management. This allows you to secure the information of your company when your end users use their mobile devices and their mobile applications to access your company information. Enlightening that particular feature will take you about 75 minutes, and that is even without knowing anything about Intune. This is one of the first steps that you can do to protect your information, but it's also a great example of how to start simple and at the same time get the best value of our services. So that is also something that the Fast Track team is gonna help you um, with to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed. You don't have to think about everything all at once. One by one, from simple to more complex, you can get all the benefits of our services. We have additional EMS resources. Um, as I mentioned, we have resources like the end user guides that you can uh, just customize with your company logos. You can even change the content of the guides if you have a specific processes that you use or you follow within their companies. Um, everything is under the fast track.microsoft.com slash EMS website. And with that, I will pass the mic to Adam. Thank you, Pablo. Uh, thank you, Yoram. That was really uh, very informative. Um, so uh, I want the opportunity to uh, share with you some of the experience of what it's like to engage Fast Track. So it's a little bit behind the curtain, but I thought it was interesting for both customers and partners to get a sense of what it's like. And so uh, in the absence of having uh, Angie here uh, from Fast Track, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the some of the common questions we get about uh, working with Fast Track and how you can optimize your experience while working with Fast Track. So uh, I've gotten five main questions, which is interesting. One of them is, how does the Fast Track Center usually engage with customers? And we've talked a little bit here about what that engagement looks like. But I actually got the opportunity two weeks ago to sit down with some of the fast track managers and some of the engineers and learn about how we were talking to customers about enterprise mobility plus security. One of the key uh, ways that we interact is to use a technology workshop and introduce Intune, introduce Azure Active Directory, introduce Cloud App Security and Advanced Threat Analytics and Azure Information Protection and what you can do with it. So while we have the expertise and we have uh, the ways that you can use and grow with it. One of the most important areas here is engaging with you, the customer, with the partners, and trying to optimize the deployment of these services. So it's interesting, when we talk to uh, uh, our customers and we talk to our partners, they say, get the right resource. We have so many resources, so much that you can take advantage of on the website. It's a whole experience. But it also is that remote guidance, that connection you have, that fast track manager and fast track engineer and subject matter expert who's there to help you walk through uh, the EMS services. And then what can you do to best collaborate with the fast track center? As a customer, we've talked a lot about putting together uh, success plans. 
Uh, and, and that would be the most important advice that I can give uh, when we're talking about fast track for EMS. Just fill out a success plan. See what you can get from Intune, what you can get from Azure AD, how you can deploy it, what resources are available to you then. And then, you know, for a customer that brings a partner, and I know we have some partners and some customers in the room, we've had the opportunity to talk to quite a large number of partners here at uh, Ignite, and how can they come together with the Fast Track Center? So as Pablo was mentioning and as Yuram was mentioning, partners are so important to customizing and growing the services with EMS. When you look at enterprise mobility plus security, imagine doing all the implementations in all the different environments, all the different industries that we work with for enterprise mobility plus security. And then also it's important to discuss something um, uh, that works really well when in the Fast Track Center. So uh, when I've had conversations with the Fast Track Center before, one of the interesting, uh, 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 one of the interesting aspects of it is it's a human being on the other side. So you don't have that software box. You don't have, as I mentioned before, the installation of all the disks to install Windows 3.11. You actually interact with the service on the web, but you have someone there you could talk to who could give you advice, who knows how to make it right and make it work within your organization. And it's really important to think that there's always someone in the background. I, 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 when I went out to the Fast Track Centers, when I was talking to uh, the different parts of the organization, and we speak many languages. We speak 12 languages uh, for our remote guidance, and our website's in almost 30 languages today. They like pizza just like I like pizza. <laughs> they like you know, to have coffee and iced tea, and they're real people, and they're there to help you with EMS. And then lastly, uh, when we talk about challenges, so one of the challenges we really experienced with Fast Track is how can we get to your project? As Yuram was mentioning before, projects are at the heart of what we do, implementing that uh, productivity experience, that security, that management for uh, uh, enterprise mobility and for productivity. And it's really, really important for us to get your feedback bi-directionally as well as to reach out to you and find out a little bit about uh, what you want to do and what you want to accomplish. So we call them milestones, but we want you to succeed in your enterprise mobility plus security project. And the way to do that is with the right help, the right assistance, with that human being who eats that extra slice of pizza, just like I do, just like we all do, and know that that's what's behind these uh, important mobility and security services that we offer. So we wanted to leave a little bit of time for your questions. These are typical questions we've gotten um, in the Fast Track Center. We've talked a little bit about the help you get. We've talked a little bit about the wizards and what's offered at fasttrack.microsoft.com. But we want to hear from you, for those of you who are familiar with Fast Track, for those of you who are learning about Fast Track for EMS, what kinds of things you want to work on? What kind of projects you want to accomplish? Question. So the question is, oh, what is the velocity program for Fast Track? You mean to have a quick implementation of EMS? I mean, uh, this was brought by a Fast Track programmer. I guess last week when we started up. So uh, the velocity is a is an experiment, a test program right now within Fast Track to shape the projects that you want to accomplish with EMS in a particular way for a quicker outcome. But it's still part of Fast Track. It's still part of the help you get. Question in the back. So the question is, uh, Fast Track is free, but included with EMS, and is there a minimum a number of licenses required to take advantage of it? If you think of it as all of the deployment help for EMS, it's all there. So that first slide I was showing is you have all of those aspects across all the services available to you. Remote guidance is intended for uh, organizations that are 150, uh, 150 seats and more but we are here to help. So no matter what your environment looks like, 
we will reach out. We'll give you those resources. You can even get remote guidance. So I want to blow apart the idea that uh, you know we're sitting there counting and when you go from 149 to 150. And think about, you have a lot of different help at each of the stages that you're working on your EMS projects. And, so, and if I may mention yeah. something else, Adam, um, if you're a customer with at least 150 licenses, the fast track team will engage you uh, proactively. They will touch base with you. But for customers with less than 150 licenses, you can go to the fasttrack.microsoft.com website, log in with your work account, and put a request for assistance. And fast track will start assisting you, regardless of the number of licenses. Yeah. And, and so just to add to that, so for Office 5, I believe 50 is on paper, EMS is 150. But as Pablo mentioned, we can override those. The other thing is EM it's, it's not even overriding. Or, it's help for everyone. Yeah. So EMS started, launched uh, July 1 of 2015. So that proactive reach out program or license purchased after that date. But again, if you have active license and brought prior, uh, the same applies. We just can go through an uh, override process or exception. So, so at the end of the day, all customers who need help, we're, this program is available to you. Yes. So, so let's, let's say you go to your Office 365 to activate EMS. Would that automatically activate the active directory of emails? So the question is, if you have Office 365 and you want to be with, uh, and you want to get started with e with EMS. Would it activate mm -hmm. Azure Active Directory Premium? Sorry. Azure Active Directory Premium is part of the Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. So if that's what you have uh, uh, from a product standpoint, then you can enable Azure Active Directory Premium. You could do a trial. You probably have EMS. If you're looking at something like Secure Productive Enterprise, which includes Windows, Office, and Enterprise Mobility Plus Security, you do have access to that. Is your question, will it activate Fast Track Program? The it's, yeah, it's, there's That's four. Mm -hmm. another, another question? Yep. It's the first project for each of the services that you want to accomplish. Yeah. And to repeat the question, the question was, once you start working with Fast Track, for how long does the Fast Track benefit serve you? And it's one time for every new service that you procure, and you define the pace, you define the schedule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I do want to, uh, one more question, yes. And I want to close it. Definitely. Absolutely. So the question was, if you want to just implement Intune and not the other services right away, can you still use Fast Track? Yep, you can use it for any of the services. You could choose the order that you want to go in uh, based on your needs, based on the scenario within the organization that you want to accomplish. And, and to be clear, uh, the most typical way how our customers are getting our licenses is by purchasing the whole EMS license. But if your organization only needs Microsoft Intune or Azure Active Directory Premium, you can still buy the individual service, and that license also includes Fast Track. So, no limitation whatsoever on that. And just to add to your question, so the team that you receive, the Fast Track manager and engineer, they will, the Fast Track manager should be the same manager that helps you with all workloads in EMS, as well as your Office 365, where it might pivot based on the engineer expertise. You might get a different person, but for the most part, for the EMS suite, you should be working with the same folks who helped you with AADP or just Intune, and you let them know that's what you want to focus on. Yeah. So I want to close out by inviting uh, everyone here who, uh, to come down to our booth to learn a little bit more about Fast Track. We're in the security section of the showcase. Also go to fasttrack.microsoft.com, find out a little bit more about EMS, fill out a success plan, practice, take a look at it, see what you want to accomplish next, and we wanted to really close by saying, again, it's all the deployment help for what you want to do with Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. We have the resources here to try it out, to have a better proof of concept, to deploy the EMS services, and to grow within your organization, whether it's the end user guides that got to cheer, to uh, the success plans, 
to the help online, to the immersion, to the videos. It's all there for you, easy to follow at fasttrack.microsoft.com. Thank you for taking the time this morning. And one Thanks final so thing. Okay. For those of you interested on the Intune Customer Connection Program, and remember, the, the company size doesn't matter. I have business cards for the program. Um, so just come with me, and I can give you a business card. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.